Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more action packed minutes of thud prime in action. I got the other side. Prime. Got a bunch of coats on it anyway. Take this over spray down just a tad. Love this primer, man. Yeah, I just sprayed the other side about 15 minutes ago. It's already sand. That's good. I just need to knock off some of that overspray.
It's looking pretty good. Not smooth. There's still a little filling to do, not much. I don't I think what I'll do is I'll go another round. We'll just fill in the stuff I can see. And then uh, go ahead and give it another coat. Then we'll guide coat it. For people that don't know what guide coating is, that's when you get it all sprayed like this. And then you just put a mist coat or like silver on it. Black. But you put, you, you just barely missed it. it, was black, just a little bit. And then when you sand it, all your low spots pop right out at you. It's not quite ready for that yet because there's still a lot of places I can see. Not a whole lot, but uh, I'm after perfection on this. I don't want one little divot, one little hole, uh, nothing, you know. I just nothing visible to the eye anyway and guide coating it when you guide coat it every little thing pops out at you but there's a trick you don't overdo it and you got to use a real firm sander block but if you overdo it you can actually get in there and, and sand out you know all that guide coat and you don't want to you just want to hit it enough to where it comes off the high spots and it stays in the low spots and that way you can get in there and fill it. You know? It won't be bad. We're trucking away. I'm gonna let that set up and mix me up a little more. Thought I mixed up enough, but I didn't. Using this uh, whole primer can for a mixing cup. I'm mixing up quite a bit at a time. Trying these little things at Home Depot, you put on your paint and it keeps it from keeps it from spilling all over the sides and stuff. You see that? You guys see what you're looking over there for? There's nothing over there. Strainer. Oh, we're running out of time, folks. I'm just going to work till it's over. And I'm going to keep on the squirting primer. Take the bait strainer. Fill up that big old cup. We're ready for some more priming action. About, it's going to be about a third of a gallon after I get that sprayed on there. That's some primer there, people. We're going to build her up.